Dur during the 60s, I got arrested a few times. And this young man stayed <laughs> of South Carolina, no town of Rock Hill. Yep. Uh, uh, during the Freedom Ride, my seatmate was a young white gentleman from Connecticut. We got off the bus. We tried to enter a so-called white waiting room. We were jumped by members of the Klan. We were left lying in a pool of blood. The local police officials came up wanting to know whether we wanted to press charges. We said no. Wow. Now, now this is May 1961. In February of 2009, one of the guys that beat us and left us bloody came to my office in Washington. He was in his 70s with his son in his 40s. He said, Mr. Lewis, I'm one of the people that beat you. He went around talking to local reporters, and they told him when he could locate me. And a reporter from the Rock Hill paper yeah. came with him. And, and the guy said, Mr. Lewis, will you forgive me? I want to apologize. Will you accept my apology? The son started crying. He started crying. They hugged me. I hugged him back. And I saw the gentleman for the time. We became friends. I believe in the ability of us to get it right. I believe that we can redeem America and create the beloved community and lay down the burden of race.